right, so when was the last time that you confronted a fear? I mean, something that you were really, really nervous about. You were anxious, maybe you, your palms were sweaty. I mean, really something that was difficult. Well, here, here are the most Googled fears. Some of you may be able to identify with a few of these, just like me. Um, I have not seen the movie uh, Snakes on a Plane, but somehow that one seems to take the cake with most of these fears. Well, I'm here today to talk a little bit about uh, my biggest fear, as it was, public speaking. I mean, I was mortified of public speaking, and it really started to intensify as I got older. And it all kind of, um, the one thing that comes to mind when I think about it is, being in high school and looking out to a crowd just like this and literally blacking out. Like, I don't remember what happened next. I, I, all I remember is I went and sat back down. That's about pretty much all I remember. I was truly terrified of public speaking, and it just seemed to get worse and worse throughout college. So fast forward to about five years ago, and I started being asked to share knowledge in groups through work and then also through my nonprofit board service. So I decided that I was going to confront this head on. I was going to say yes to speaking for one entire year. Well, what happened after that? Number one, doubt, self-doubt. I was like, I would rather run. I would rather find something else to do than that. And then the other one, I thought, well, what if I procrastinate? I'd actually rather take surfing lessons. That sounds like so much more fun. Um, then I started to get advice from some friends as I shared this journey. And I did hear the, you know, the cliche, hey, why don't you just imagine all of you with no clothes on, right? Well, think about doing that for an entire year. I don't think so. That was not going to happen. <laughs> I didn't do that one. Um, so I started saying yes. So this is my first speaking opportunity. Um, I was asked to speak at the United Way in Bremerton. And again, this is all volunteer work. So I get up at 4 a.m., go speak to these five women, and I had a blast. I had so much fun. Um, and I started to get over this fear. And then all of a sudden through work, I was asked to give the opening statements, the, the welcome at the uh, tree lighting on Westlake Center. So here I am. This is my photo. I'm looking out into thousands of people. And I was terrified, but somehow I got through it. Um, and one of the things that I learned, too, throughout this journey was that you have to be able to take feedback. So one of the things that I heard, um, about six months later, I had my first keynote. And I was up there at a nonprofit conference looking out into the crowd, Gates Foundation, it was an awesome audience, and I thought the talk went okay. And then I left the stage, and I talked to a few people afterwards, and somebody came up and they said, hey, you had some really good points in your talk, but you spoke so fast, I thought you were going to grow wings and start flying around the room. <laughs> so, <laughs> you got to be able to take feedback. <laughs> and then... And then, you know, the other thing is you get feedback that you, that's not constructive. And you're, you, if you put yourself out there, you're going to have these hecklers, people who just want to bring you down. It's just going to happen. So you have to acknowledge them and just move on. They're just out there. The other thing that I did is I did hire a public speaking coach to help me a little bit. And TJ Walker, he's amazing. And this feedback, actually, nobody knows it except for my family. <laughs> But what I did is I put, uh, he, he gave me the advice to put, um, to put sticky notes on the wall with little eyes on them and little faces all along the wall and to practice. So when I was starting out, I spent hours in front of these sticky notes just talking to the wall so I could be decent when I was in front of a crowd. It was, it was, uh, it was a lot of work. Um, so things that I wish somebody would have told me when I um, set out on this journey... I actually ended up speaking at 60 events. I volunteered at 60 different events. Most of them were small nonprofit events and boards. Um, but I learned a few things. Number one is so few of us set goals for ourselves. I just, I, it's so important and it's really changed my life in many ways to set personal and professional goals. Just write down what I want to do. And then put myself in these situations where I can actually be challenged. And for me, that meant serving on nonprofit boards and volunteering to help when I could. And the third one, which is really good news, is after you confront your fear a few times, then it just gets so easy. It's actually fun, and it's almost addictive. So you'll want to do it more. You'll want to put yourself in these situations where you're challenged more and more. Um, so really what I want to say, you know, Oprah says there's things she knows for sure. I know for sure that if I confronted my fear and I was truly terrified of public speaking, then if you guys have something that you're thinking about or a fear or a challenge, I'm positive that you can do it. I'm absolutely positive. So I have a challenge for each of you in this room. Think about something that you want to do, whether it's starting a blog, running the Seattle Marathon, you know, um, motorcycle lessons, learning to ride a motorcycle, which is something I want to do. Um, and then stick with it. Figure out how long you're going to do it, whether it's a week, a month, or a year. 
And um, by the way, I'd love to know how it goes since I went through it myself. So thank you so much. Thank you.